हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज कुलदीप हेयर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट हाउ टू सेट अप सेलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर विद मेवन इन इक्लिप्स बट फ्रेंड इन केस इफ यू आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट द मेवन इट सेल्फ लाइक व्हाट इज द मेवन ऑल अबाउट फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन डाउनलोड द मेवन एंड हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल and configure on your system then please refer my this video here i have explained all the things like from here you can download install and configure the maven because to create a maven project maven must be installed on your system otherwise you will not able to create the maven project in eclipse okay now let's move to our topic and try to create a maven project so this is my eclipse let's click on this file new go to the other and here you can find lot of options from there actually we need to go to this maven select maven project and click on next button so here it says like use default workspace location which means your new maven project will be created inside the same workspace but in case if you want uh, to change your work location then simply uncheck this and select any other uh, workplace to create the new maven project okay but in my case i will keep this location i mean the default work space location to create this maven project so i'm not changing it now let's click on this next button in this catalog section let's select internal option here here you will notice multiple options but we need to select maven arc type quick start which is selected by default itself okay but in case if it is not selected then just make sure that you select this maven arc type quick start only to create a new maven project now click on this next button so here we need to provide uh, certain details like group id artifact id we can provide the unique group id which basically should not be present in your this uh, workspace let me create one group id as automation qa and whatever name we provide inside the group id that becomes our package name after that we can provide the artifact id the name as automation demo if you notice my package name becomes automation qa along with my project name that is the automation demo now just click on this finish button maven project gets created with the automation demo and if you notice here then you can see one small m icon is there over this project which means it is a maven project and uh, you can see it has given us a basic uh, skeleton here and you can find few folders like src main java src test java GRE system library, Maven dependency, and uh, form.xml file. Okay, these packages are created by default. We can delete it. Okay, so I am simply deleting these packages. Okay, right. Now let's see what is this form.xml file and what does it contain. It is a sort of heart of uh, Maven project, and we will using it to add the dependencies here. It contains few details like the overview, dependencies, dependency hierarchy, effective form, and form.xml file. There is no need to touch all these things. Okay, we just need to focus on this form.xml file. 
it has the details about the group id artifact id name of the project and after that it has a dependencies tag and one dependency that is for the j unit so if we click on this maven dependencies you can see like it contains one jar file that is for the 3.8.1 okay so the same version you can find here all right so if you wish you can delete it otherwise there is no harm to keep it there so now let's see that how we can configure the selenium quickly let's create one package inside this src test java learning selenium finish it and inside this learning selenium let's create one class launch gmail select this public static byte main as well all right here let's try to open the gmail.com in google chrome browser so for that actually let me utilize my existing code here okay so this is the gmail i will pick up the complete code from here all right it is giving some errors in this program like the import org.open qa cannot be resolved and if you see here then it shows like the chrome driver cannot be resolved to a type which simply means this particular project does not contains the jar files for the selenium that's why error is coming so now the question comes that how we can add the jar files for this project the best thing about maven project is that you don't need to add the jar files manually okay so let's see like if we are not adding the jar files manually then from here we can download the jar files and we can add in our project okay so for that actually we need to go to the maven repository so that is the central repository so let's search for the selenium here selenium java so as soon as uh, you click here you can find dependencies for various selenium versions okay but we need to be very careful while picking dependencies it is always good to pick some stable version so i would like to go with 4.11.0 okay so as soon as we click here so you can find this piece of code here and uh, it provides group id artifact id and the version number copy this go back to our pom.xml file place this dependency okay okay in this dependency tag so here you can notice like it is opening here it is closed and inside this there is one dependency for the j unit and below that we can add the dependency for selenium after that simply click ctrl s so that the details get saved and you can notice that in the maven dependencies the jar files for the selenium 4.1.org imported okay and as soon as the jar files gets imported the errors in this program got fixed automatically which means the error was coming because the jar files were missing here now if we try to run this program then it should be successfully executed it is taking some time to configure the jars and all other things perfect so here you can see like it has opened the chrome browser and launched the gmail website inside it all right in the same way we can add the jar files for the various different versions okay so let's say that i want to add jar files for some other version so let's say that i want to add for the 
uh, 4.9.0 so what we need to do actually we need to again go here in this form.xml file and simply just replace it 4.9.0 and as soon as you save it then you can notice that the jar files gets updated in the maven dependencies folder as well okay the jar file gets changed here okay now if i talk about few common mistakes so let's say like uh, i try to add some version which doesn't exist itself so let's say i try to add some 4.0.111 if i try to save then you can notice that this dependency uh, tag gets highlighted and it clearly shows that missing artifact org.seleniumhu.selenium 4.0.1.1.1 so which means like there is no version as such selenium 4.0.1.1.1 on this maven repository site so that's why it is giving the error so we just need to be very careful that the version which is present in this uh, maven repository we should use that only okay okay sometimes we put this dependency outside of this dependencies tag which means you can see like this is dependencies tag is getting started here and getting closed here but if we try to add dependencies outside of this dependencies tag then in that case we will start getting errors so we just need to be very careful that we are keeping our dependency inside this dependencies tag itself to avoid many kind of errors and in fact if i talk about the industry standard so people are using the maven as a build management tool where we don't need to configure any jar files manually okay so friends that's it for today's video i hope it is helpful please like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching my videos Thank you so much.